um, here at Area 1, the headquarters of CAC Abrijaya. It's actually the regional headquarters. Okay, today they are having a matriculation of men of God. Men of God of Christ Apostolic Church are having their matriculation today. And apart from that, we also have those that are graduating, graduating students, those that have completed their course. We have those that did the course of two years, three years, four years studying theology in Christ Apostolic Church. Most of them are graduating today and also those that have been taken in. Today is their matriculation day here in Christ Apostolic Church, the regional headquarters in Area 1, Abuja. I'm so happy to have you here, sir. Thank you so much. Yes, sir, please, can you tell us your name? My name is Pastor Paul B. Daramola. Wow, wow, that's awesome. That is a uh, celebrate grace, sir. Thank you. Yeah, sir, I want to ask uh, what is really happening here. A lot of people have been hearing sound. People might be wondering what is happening here, sir. Uh, we give the glory to God. Today we are doing the 14th convocation of the Christ Apostolic Church Seminary of Abuja uh, campus. Wow, that's awesome, that's awesome. So, so you happen to be a lecturer there? Yes, yes, I'm a lecturer in the Abuja campus. Uh, a lot of people might be wondering that, okay, this is still CAC of Babalola. Yes. And they really want to hear from a lecturer that is lecturing there about this man, that, this great general, great general Babalola. A lot of people still go online to search. They want to know who this Ayo Babalola is, this apostle, great apostle. So I would like you to just tell us a little about apostle Ayo Babalola. Thank you so much. Apostle Ayo Babalola is the first African apostle that cannot be forgotten. God used him mightily. God used him mightily that we cannot forget in Christ's apostolic church. There are a lot, lot of miracles that is still real uh, till tomorrow. Oh, that is why the, the, the church cannot forget him. The callings and also his own self-determination and denial for the God, for the word of God. So nobody has also marked the record or break the record. That is why we cannot forget him. So for the lot of things that the Lord has used for. That's awesome, Daddy. Okay, now I want to ask, is it possible for us to still have another Ayo Babalola in this generation? Ah, well, the others are, are trying, but nobody can still put legs to the shoe that Ayo Babalola has removed. A lot of people believe that they idolize Babalola because if they go to where he was buried, people go there to pray, like to ask for power of God, men of God, and other people that are sick when they take the water or when they go to his mountain or call his name. A lot of people are getting this confused. They believe they are idolizing him. That is supposed to be only Jesus Christ. I don't know if there, uh, there's anything you can say about Thank that. Thank you. That one uh, issue of idolizing is depend on individual beliefs. So when we believe that the when we know that the, the, the soul of man also travel is not die, that despite also that uh, physically cannot feel this physical. You can see, check the Bible, when the Elisha died, when they put a man there, you know, that man rise to yes. tell you that uh, the, 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 the power, the power of the uh, uh, So that is why, in no matter, of, because we know the interest or the power that in this man, that is why people are still, he said just a bridge to cross over to God, that people are going to that place, that the spirit, the angel that work with him, that's still with him. Yeah, that is, I mean, there are a lot of testimony. In, in, in going there, praying there, taking the water to show how powerful this man is. How was that? Is uh, that, 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 that is awesome, that is. So, I want to ask, like, how long have you been in the ministry? Because today, now we have record of those coming into the ministry, that's being wonderful. matriculated. That's, that's wonderful. I've been in ministry for over 25 years. Wow. I would like to hear from you like the experience, positive and negative, like the challenges yeah, there. Yes, yes. In this in this uh, work, no and uh, allow anybody to deceive you. There are a lot of challenges in this. There are spiritual challenges, there's also physical challenges. So but when you are rooted in the word of God, you know what the, the God that call you. You will not deviate. Even though when the storm comes, you know this is a storm. And Jesus that call you, you have power to silence the storm. He will give you strength and power to forge your head. Though we have people that commercialize or merchandise the gospel, but not that. A lot of people are suffering. You know, uh, uh, just last week I'm telling the, the class that uh, there are some people 
that uh, they, they believe in a uh, Hellenistic uh, theory that don't believe that they don't want to suffer. Jesus Christ suffer. The suffering of Lord Jesus Christ. He suffer persecution. He suffer things. He suffer every other thing. See, uh, if people they pass by, I just leave them. Some came for the, uh, BS in theology. Some came to read diploma in theology. David, wait. Uh, some came for. David, 